Assalamu alaikum everyone. My name is Madi Hassan. I am nine years old. I read in class three. My school is Adamji Cantonment Public School. And today I will give a presentation about some interesting math Olympiad questions. So our first question is one eight twenty seven dot dot dot. What is the fifth term of this sequence? So we have to use cube idea to solve this math problem. First, we have to find one cube equals one, then two cube equals eight, and three cube equals twenty-seven, then four cube equals sixty-four, and five cube equals one hundred twenty-five. So one hundred twenty-five is the fifth term. Our answer is one hundred twenty-five. So let's go to our next problem. Next question says: In a round table, there are ten people. You have twenty-four chocolates. You started giving three chocolates to everybody, starting from the fifth person. Who will be the last one to get? Chocolates. So we can say there are ten people in a round table. You have twenty-four chocolates. You started giving three chocolates to everybody, starting starting from the fifth person. Who will be the last one to get chocolates after the tenth person? You go back to the first person. So there are ten people. I'm starting from fifth person. I first I give the fifth person three chocolates, then the sixth person three chocolates, then the seventh person three chocolates, then the eighth person three chocolates, and the ninth person three chocolates. To that, the tenth person three chocolates. Then I'm starting from first person. I give the first person three chocolates. Then the second person three chocolates, and now there are no more chocolates left. I give the three chocolates to the second person at last. So our final answer is second person. Let's go to our next problem. Our next math says between four hundred and one thousand. How many numbers are divided by both? Three and five. First, we have to find the LCM of three and five. The LCM of three and five is fifty. So now we have to divide one thousand with fifteen. The answer is sixty-two. After that, we have to divide four hundred by fifteen. The answer is twenty-two. After that, we have to subtract sixty-two with twenty-two. So our final answer is forty numbers. There are forty numbers between four hundred and one thousand, which are divisible by both three and five. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you all like it. See you on next video. Assalamualaikum.